I finally got to uh, start cleaning up a lot of that ash tree that I had originally cut down in a previous video. I was having some camera problems here. It was really windy the day that I was doing this. So you guys get to look at the uh, sky there for a little bit, which is kind of funny. Well, I think it's kind of neat actually watching the clouds go by, but that's not what this video is about. So I'm trying to load up this log into the Jeep trailer here. The ground here is pretty darn wet, and I really do not want to use a big farm tractor to get this thing, to get these logs out, because we will rut this up like there's no tomorrow. So all I'm trying to do is use uh, the light pieces of equipment and just try to get these logs out of here with this, the least amount of ground disturbance possible. So surprise, surprise, I am actually able to load this log. Uh, my brother and I, uh, Christian, my brother looked up how much this log weighs <coughs> and it weighs over 1300 pounds what I'm picking up there's a lot of lumber in this thing and I keep saying I want to buy a sawmill one of these days it's gonna happen so eventually what I had to do to get this trailer and stuff out of here I had to take this up a decent hill probably 25 degrees Maybe something like that. I had to actually pull the log up over the, the front of the tongue of this trailer so that I would have more tongue weight. And you guys are going to see here, this is not one of my more graceful moves. I probably should have figured out a better way to uh, keep this log from dropping on this trailer. I mean, I didn't hurt anything. This trailer is built like... Fort Knox, it is super strong. I haven't been able to really break anything on it. And that's just uh, the way things are, I guess. But that was a pretty rough hit. But it's on partially. And let's see that again. I don't really know how I could have not had this log roll like that. I picked up the back end of the tractor and the end of the log bottomed out on the ground. Well, it's in. Not by much, though. Well, I finally got this big monster log loaded. And just for a measurement here, I think I measured this in the last video. This uh, tree measures, uh, we'll call it 24 inches, 24 by 24. So we're way down there. I uh, call it 105, uh, yeah, 105. And then up at this end, I don't really know exactly how I should measure this. There it's 19, and here it is about 19. So I'm sure you guys can figure out how much this thing weighs. It is a pretty darn heavy log, and I don't know exactly how I'm going to get out of here. I hardly have any tongue weight on this uh, trailer. Yeah, she's pulling up pretty good. So, well, there you go. I loaded a the biggest log on the the butt one that was right there and we just have the rest of these to get maybe today we'll see it took me <laughs> probably took me a half hour at least to load this one i've got to say it'd be uh, pretty nice to have a, a big wheel loader or a skid steer or something to move these logs uh, something with some forks on it uh, i don't think the aden would have picked up those logs it may have picked up this one but Probably not. And if you notice, I have to use the hydraulic jack on the crane because the ATV winch that I have on there, it's a 2,500-pound winch from Harbor Freight, and it will not uh, pick up this log. I have either too many wraps on it, I guess, and the further the 
spool of wire or cable, I guess it is, gets from the middle of the drum, the less it can uh, pick up. So I just re-spooled, I think, 50 feet on there. But I'm just uh, getting by with the hydraulic jack on there. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it does, uh, it'll does. it load up the logs uh, pretty affordably you know, versus a five to ten thousand dollar skid steer, that uh, it'll do the job faster. But do I do this enough to justify the skid steer? Not really, but it'd be really nice to have, and I could probably justify it eventually. So I'm just trying to get this uh, log loaded, and these were I had three logs, three big logs. And this is how the first one went out. This is log number two, and it's still a giant. But that's uh, how I was able to get the tongue weight that I needed to get up the hill. And the uh, gentleman that lives here, he was uh, really impressed with uh, what I could do with this tractor and this setup here, uh, moving these logs. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, if you would, give me uh, some likes and comments, and we'll see you all in the next so here's that first log fully loaded up into the trailer. These were all a one log load. Uh, just amazing what I can do with this setup here. It really, really is. And if you guys are looking to uh, get an old tractor, you know, you know what I'm going to say. Buy a Sears Suburban. They're good old machines.